Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It's episode 85, and we're continuing our playthrough of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, The Sith Lords. And one of the nice... Uh, we are on Dixon. We were intending to go to Onderon, and uh, the welcoming party... Uh, forced us into a, or encouraged us into a an accelerated landing on the nearby moon. Yeah, we could phrase it like that. They encouraged us to an accelerated landing on the nearby moon. So Atten is over at the ship uh, affecting repairs and I am out and about in the jungle doing some exploring uh, Korea. Well, we, the character, don't know this, but we, the player, know this, uh, is pretty sure that we're here to learn some things, too, since uh, this was one of the first sites of the Mandalorian battles, and that looks like a Mandalorian flag right there behind me, and I kind of wish I had taken up Arcadius on uh, binge-watching the Mandalorian before we got to this point, so I'd have more catchphrases than just the two memes that are going over Twitter and everywhere, you know. So I have spoken. No, this is the way. Uh, no, well, no, so I've spoken to the other guy. Um, speaking of the other guy, I need a better party. I was trying to get better weapons for my droids, and um, in between... Okay, good, it is both. Uh, and, and, and that's nice and all, but uh, I, need, I need some people who can kick butt and take names. So, let me grab the handmaiden, and let me grab... And all right, let me give Visas another chance because I really want to like her, but but she uh, she seems to go through hit points awfully fast. I mean, I gave her some decent armor and everything, but man, she she will uh, go through some hit points. Hmm. Let, let's see if Love Layering Up will help. Uh, fix that problem. Let's level her up real quick. Skills, she's only got a couple. It's the same ones we always do. She's only got three skills that we've been putting points in. Uh, ooh, feats. I was hoping to make this a quick one, and I was mistaken. Uh, is there something that we were working on that, uh, hmm, I was hoping we'd uh, already had the start of something that would work. That, that we could just, like, oh, next. There we go. Done. And apparently not. Apparently not. But we got the Master 2 up and fighting. We've got the Flurry. Uh, gearhead conditioning. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. What's the, what's the one that... Uh, no, not the Jedi defense. Toughness. Okay. Let, let, uh... Let's see if uh, giving her the toughness feat will help with that uh, hit point problem, because that, at a minimum, gives an extra vitality point for every level, and it's retroactive for all the pre all the levels previously gained. So that's about eighteen hit points right there. Uh, and for powers, let's go ahead and give her her top level heal. Okay, because it's always good having people with some top-level heals. More than one is even better. Oh, she's got more. Oh. Oh, I, I, I didn't realize she was that behind, or I wouldn't have picked her. All right. Well, let's do this real quick. Oh, she gets another feat. Goody. Uh, if only I knew what to give her. Mm. Regen might be a good one. Regen might be a really good one. Yeah, because Precise Shot is nothing but ranged weapons. Stealth Run, no. Mobility, no. Yeah, let, let, let's bump up her regen and see if that doesn't help too. And for powers, I guess we'll have to start her down another tree. Uh, let's go ahead and get her through the Battle Meditation. It never hurts to have more people with that. Alright, there we go. Now she's up to level 19. 
everybody else seems to be squared away. Let's um, save the game real quick. Because we just did all that work of leveling. Be a shame to have to do that again. All right. We get our people. We get our save. Let's uh, walk towards the Mandalorian flag and see what happens. A lot of dust for uh, a rainy day. Oh. We've got you surrounded. Keep <laughs> calm. Their weapons are not raised. I do not think they wish to fight us. I'm surprised you got this far. The jungle huh. doesn't usually let its prey go that easily. What are you doing here? I'm not easy prey. <laughs> okay. What is it, Mandalorians in this damned moon? What are you doing on Dexon? Mandalorians killed many of my brethren during the war. Why should I even talk to you? All right, neither the first nor the third seem productive. Tempting, but not productive. So let's just go with what are you doing on Dixon? We claimed this moon decades ago mm -hmm. when we reforged ourselves after Exar Kun's defeat. Some of us call it Okay. Home. Why are you trespassing here? All right, I was exploring. Who are you? Our ship crashed and we were forced to land. I was thinking of starting a Zerka office here. I sense a lot of untapped potential. It's no business of yours. If you're going to attack, then get ready to die. All right, let... Light side. Let's go with the truth. Uh, I hear it'll set you free. All right, our ship crashed and we we're forced to we land here. As much. Few visit Duxon by choice. We have orders to escort you to our camp. Our leader wants to speak to you. All right, lead on. Your leader may be of use to me. <laughs> Take me to him now. Eh, he might be of use now. I'm not finished exploring, and if I refused, uh, uh, I can... No. Take me to your leader. Okay. So far, so good. This is actually a uh, rather impressive camp. I'm sorry. That armor does not look like you should be doing those kinds of kicks in it. Isn't that heavy armor? When's the last time you see somebody do a high kick in heavy armor? And it wasn't because they fell. Yeah. Yeah, I'm calling shenanigans on that armor. Although if I can find a way to get a uh, heavy armor in D&D that'll let me do high kicks and all that stuff. Um... I might have to figure that out. So you're the Hello, intruder. Beach Duck. Our sensors picked up your handiwork in space. I My handiwork? Leader of the Mandalorians. <laughs> I thought the Mandalorians were disbanded. Left behind like an 80s band. Oh, wait, no. Uh, what is this place? I'm trying to get to Onderon. Do you know how I can get there? But we killed Mandalore during the war. That doesn't seem like the kind of thing you want to highlight. Uh, let's, we've been straight shooting so far. Well, <laughs> not straight shooting. Uh, we, we've been straight forward so far. Uh, I'm trying to keep it from getting into straight shooting if I can. Um, so I thought the Mandalorians were disbanded. There's no point in bringing that. Obviously, they're not disbanded. Uh, what is this place? It is obviously a Mandalorian base. Not going to win any points by by asking the obvious. So let's go with, I'm trying to get Onderon because, well, I am. And that's how we out got here in the first place. So it's transportation you want. It so happens I have a small shuttle that's more than capable of running the Onderon military blockade. I make occasional trips to Isis for information and supplies. I keep wanting to call it Isis. Go I gotta remember it's Isis. To okay. Uh why do you go to Isis? It's Mandalorian business, not yours. Fine. <laughs> Force persuade. Eh. Dude, that's tempting. But if that backfires, it, it it's gonna set me back on the whole proving myself an earning honor thing. So let's try just a regular persuade. I could. Yep. But I don't know you. Once I get to know you, I might tell you more. But not now. That's fair. Alright. So how do I prove myself? Figure it out yourself. Ask around. 
See if you can make yourself useful. Okay, fine. Or something that'll show what you're made of. All right. All right, if you're going to make me help you out, at least give me something. There is one thing. Before your ship landed, we were preparing some demolition work. All the activity forced my men to stop before they finished. The charges okay. need to be detonated before anybody comes across them, so all you'd have to do is flip the switch. <laughs> that sounds too easy. You asked if there was anything you could do, and I told you. Nothing in this jungle is as simple as it seems, though. Uh, you're as simple as you seem. Alright. Alright, I'll see what I can do. I'll let Kex know that you check out. We found more gear than we can use, so you can trade with him if you need some more supplies. I like gear. Be careful in the jungle. Our patrols have stopped until the space traffic dies down. The challenging beasts have been cleared from the area, but what's left might still be too much for you. Oh, I think you underestimate me. Okay, well, we got some XP and a journal entry. Um, what do you want? Can you tell me about Onderon? When you were last here, you probably didn't even go to Onderon. The Republic knew that Onderon's fate would be decided on its jungle moon, not the planet itself. Okay. To begin with, when you talk about Onderon, you're really talking about the ancient walled city of Isis. It's the only <laughs> inhabited settlement on the planet. Uh, so who's in charge? It depends on who you ask. Queen Talia rules from the royal palace, but her cousin, General Vaclo, no. has a great deal of power in ISIS as I, well. I think I see where the upcoming conflict is. Things, just like their citizens. We fought General Vaclo during the war, and he is a worthy adversary. Queen Talia is young and hardly a match for him. Onderon <laughs> is a recent addition okay. to the Republic, joining during one of the darker eras of Republic history. Since joining, the Republic has endured many wars and great battles. The people of Onderon don't possess the resolve and strength needed I bet they will times. before too long. Many of them want to break away from the Republic. No, they want to go back mind. to an earlier age when they could cower behind their walls. Their spinelessness made them easy to conquer. <laughs> okay. I don't blame you. They're a sad people. Oh. I have some things to look into. Oops. I'll talk to you later. All right, so I guess that's all I'm going to get out of him. Matter of fact, he's even going to just walk on all off. Scouts report in. All right, so I got a lab station I can work with. He's going to fuss about scouts. What do you want? Oh. Obviously, I'm not supposed to be there. Uh, is that all there is to this place then? I can't even walk oh, <laughs> I can't even walk over the panels. Okay. Alright, good to know that I got a lab station available. And uh let's start let's start this way. Let's make a uh loop around the base. Fill in the map and figure out what else we can. There ooh. Why hello good sir. Are you the merchant of what whom I was you told? Want? <laughs> you greet everyone that way? Some sort of problem? <laughs> I'd change your tone before you regret it. No, that's not going to help. Uh, who are you? I'm Kex, the new quartermaster. If a Mandalorian needs something, they come to me. Mandalore's ordered me to let you have access to our supplies, including some military-grade surplus. It's not free, though. You can pay with credits or trade in some of your gear. Doesn't matter to me. Alright. Uh, <clears throat> Alright. Let, let, let's start with business. What do we have to buy here? Um, An apprentice robe that had... Oh. This could be good. And it's not that expensive. I might, uh... I might have to take a couple of my Jedi folk and, equi and equip them with this because it gives a strength boost, dex boost, and constitution bump. 
Uh, yeah, that could be good. Mandalorian heavy suit. Uh, most of my people are better than that. Uh, Sith battle suit. Eh. No. No. That's not that bad. Nice defense bonus and uh, 25 resistance versus electrical, but uh, not too many people are going to try to tase me, so... I was hoping for some better armor. I get... Alright, well... I'm... Let's go ahead and buy these uh, two apprentice robes. Because I'm probably going to be able to make good use of those. The exchange negotiator? Eh. Mandalorian Ripper. Ooh. I might need to come back and peruse these blasters once I've uh, figured out who's going to Who's going to tote what? Because an unstoppable 3 to 8 damage. And it's fully upgradable. That, oh. Oh my. Yeah, it's a Mandalorian Ripper. It's going to rip through my credits. I, 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 oh. And the Heavy Blaster's not helping either. I, I wonder if I can acquire one of those off of a uh, poor unfortunate somewhere. Oh, no, never mind. Never mind. I thought that Mandalorian Assault Rifle looked really good right up until I saw the item cost. So we're just going to pass it on by and see. Uh, yeah. You know, I, I think we've hit... Uh, except for maybe the Mandal some of the, the components. So Mandalorian Chamber Mark II. I don't think any of my people can make those. And it's an extra damage bonus. Attack. Oh. But it hits your defense. Never mind. Nope. Okay. Let's uh, see if we can actually strike up a chat. Let's see what you have. What do you have to sell? Do you have some sort of problem with me? Yeah. Okay. If it were up to me, you would have been shot on sight. Mandalore must think Try it. something special. And uh, <laughs> you better not forget it. I'd end up as quartermaster. The greatest honor for a Mandalorian is to distinguish themselves in battle. But as age comes upon us, some are forced to find honor in other pursuits. They are Dude. Sisters, freighter pilots, technicians. Don't talk to me about as age catches There's up. Honor there. Someone young like me, this task is distasteful. There are many battles left in me. Yet I've yeah, so you say. This. Um, so how did you wind up with the job? My predecessor was loading equipment from Cache D5. Mandalorian engineers must have worked the double shift on that one. The old quartermaster was carrying out a load of blast converters and walked straight into a beam splitter. Oh. Pieces of Wound up all over. Yikes. So I got the job, and here I am. I mean, that's one we get a good promotion, huh? All right, what do you have? What do you have to sell? All right, can you tell me about the area? It's bad enough I have to stand here and pass out supplies while the others go on patrol. I'm oh, not fine. I'm disgrace myself further by being your guide. The only advice I'll give you is when you're in the jungle, shoot anything that moves. Then shoot the things that don't move, just to be sure. <laughs> All right. Thank you for that enlightening conversation. Uh, I, I think I'm happy that we're gonna meet each other in the battle ring at some point. Cranky old quartermaster. What During you get? During the war, we abandoned our headquarters before Revan's final attack. Only a few volunteers were allowed to stay and fight. Oh. All right, not yet. I need to run around and talk to everybody. Duxon is a dangerous place. Never drop your guard. We've called off our patrols outside the camp. We usually find some entertainment in clearing out the worst of the beasts. But without our patrols, some of the larger beasts may be around. 
Uh -huh. will be around to bail you out of trouble. You've been warned. So you have spoken. All right. <laughs> Why'd you call off the patrols? Our sensors picked up three ships landing in this area after the space battle. If any right. of the Onderon military come searching for those ships, we don't want them finding. All right. There's our base. my ship. The ship for the uh, uh, bounty hunters. Oh, hey. <laughs> oh, cool. That's an option. Three ships. There's my ship and the Juro ship. Who is the third? I don't know. It was some sort of freighter. It didn't land at any of the clearings along the path. Knowing oh, yeah. some of the larger Duxon beasts, the crew is probably already dead. Well, it'd be a shame to let all their equipment just go to waste in the jungle, right? We should probably go and make sure that it moves on to a productive use. <laughs> All right. Uh, why are you hiding from the military? Is there anyone else on the moon? What do you mean by the larger beasts? Let's just go with it. <sighs> kind of want to poke at him about that. So why are you hiding? But let's uh, let's go with. Is there anyone else on the moon? Our relay dishes down, and until Zuka repairs it, we're blind. Oh. The Underon military has cordoned off the planet, so there shouldn't be anybody else down here. Still. Our sensors occasionally pick up signals on the surface. Huh. It's like someone is searching the planet and doing so under the noses of the military. Whoever they are, they've stayed clear of us. Okay. Uh. And, oh, here we go. I need to earn honor, so let's, uh, can I help with the relay dish? If you want to pitch in, go ahead. Zuka hasn't been able to get the damn thing up and running. You can find him in the eastern side of camp. Just south of the hangars. Look for the sparking wires, and he won't be far. <laughs> okay. So, uh, hmm. what do you mean by the larger beasts? We heard reports of a Zakeg wandering the paths around here. They're a good challenge for Mandalorians. If you see one, stay out of its way. Without us to back you up, you'll be dead in seconds. So if I come back with a piece of a dead Zakeg, uh, does that mean you'll finally show me a little respect? All right. It's a huge red lizard that's built like a Baragwan battle tank. It has a hide so thick it might as well be Durasteel. Yeah, I got just the tool we for keep that. Clearing them out of the area, but they keep coming back. They're tough opponents for non mandalorian Listen, I can defeat it. You fight a Zakeg. If you survived such a battle, you'd gain much honor. Well, there we go. Well, we'll see. I'll be back after I've defeated one. Strong words. <laughs> it would be amusing to see you try to kill such a beast. Try the outlying jungle paths if you're determined to see oh. one out. Oh, I will. Bring me back a trophy from your kill as proof of the deed. There we go. New quest added. We gotta get a Zack Egg. We've got to... do the explosive thing and earn some... Honor. What else can we get? The Underonians avoid this moon. They are too weak to tame. Revan may have won the last war, but our spirit isn't broken. Alright, stand back. Let's see if that. Alright, why don't all the Mandalorians sound like Aussies? Or Kiwis? Is it is it because they they got a New Zealander to play Django and Boba Fett? Did that canonically make them all Kiwis? Okay. Uh, <laughs> I've never heard of a Mandalorian fixing anything. No, that's not going to help. Anything I can help this with? Jungle attacks anything made by man. Restoring the generators. I uh, but I can. Let's, uh, okay, my repair skill sucks, so let's go with the computer. I'll take whatever help I can get. Whatever wires and tech haven't been corroded by the jungle are at least ten years old. Eh, I'm little WD-40. But several components are broken and need repair. Without the relay, we're vulnerable to attack, especially right now. Eh. Uh. Space metal may have attracted unwanted attention. 
and our shuttle sensors can't cover the whole moon. All right, then uh, let's get to work fixing it then. Oh, it seems just about everything involved with a relay dish is broken. Will you, you just get to the part where you tell me what kind of help you need? Stop your grousing. Find the telemetry computer in there. The only thing I know for sure is we need a new phase pulse converter for the tracking computer. Sure you do. All right. Uh. We actually already found one in an old weapons cache. Oh. Flaming can oxide it. Okay. I got to tell you, when I was doing the research to prep for today's episode, everywhere I saw canucks, I read it as canucks. I don't know why. My brain took it there. So I, I kept trying to figure out why Canucks were eating all the parts. Canucks. <laughs> That's a problem with Canucks. They'll leave you alone if you keep your distance. But if you turn your back on the pests, they'll eat anything they can get. I mean, I guess that kind of works for Canucks, too. All right. Uh, so why don't, why don't you hunt them down? Challenge from Mandalorian. Oh. Since they provide no sport, we ignore them. Okay. Just gut every canock you come across. You wouldn't believe the things you can find in those little beasts. Oh, the things you can find, you say? Alright. Um. Alright then. Alright. Come back when you have the converter and we can see about getting these systems working again. No. You won't let me out there. Let's, uh, what can we do with the broken wires? The wires here are damaged. It would take a lot of skill and parts to repair them. It would take a whole four repair parts. Let's do it. You have fixed the broken wires. All right. Journal entry added. All right, we got a phase pulse converter that we got to get out of the Canuck. Uh, we've got the broken wires. And there's still the telemetry computer. Is it? Is it the computer he's standing at that I can't get to? Because if so, that's uh, marginally unhelpful. No, more than marginally unhelpful. Oh, this must be the, uh, battle circle. Let's, uh... So, you are the Jedi the camp's been talking about. Are you planning on exploring the jungle to the south? Why, yes, I am. I might. Who are you? I'm Zarga. I instruct our RAR Mandalorian recruits in the ways of discipline and battle. I sent one of my warriors, Kumas, into the jungle... It's been three days, and I want you to bring back his corpse and his survival pack. Oh, wait a second. Uh, he's just been gone three days, and you assume it's because he's a corpse? I thought you Mandalorians were tough, hardy warriors. Uh, are you sure he's dead? If Kumas wasn't dead, he'd be back already. If you find his body, just bring it back. Okay. And why do you want the body? <clears throat> Okay. <laughs> Alright, if I find his body, I'll bring back his gear. Alright, there's supposed to be a way to do a challenge for a fight. Or is that not the... No, that... Let's, uh, let's do a quick run around. Oh. Some unattended metal boxes, you say. Well, nobody seems to mind. Yeah, possession, nine tenths and all that. Mm -hmm. Got my uh, components back. And 
then we're back to back to the main building then all right so I still need to find the computer and it's probably the one he's standing at kind of wish there was a uh, repair station somewhere nearby too yeah All right, then uh, I'll see how I can get in on this combat here in a minute. So if you're watching live, hang tight. I will uh, try this fight in a little bit. And if you're watching later on YouTube, then uh, you just have to wait for the next episode. Well... That was fun. Unless I just died. Then it was a little less than fun. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun. And if you want to watch live, you can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up, live stream archives from some of my other stuff, and various and sundry other videos, because I do more than just this. And if you want to get notifications, don't forget to hit the bell. And if you really, truly enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff. If you have any questions, queries, quips, quotes, comments, complaints, or other whatnot, don't forget to leave those in the comments down below. Lastly, if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a lot of value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee, then uh, consider going, giving a little bit, especially if it tickled the nostalgia or opened your eyes to a new game that you might play. And uh, with all that said and done, we're, uh, we're going to cut out, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.